null then we will show the message output message same is equal to enter name and password okay please enter name and password otherwise else we will show the message once again message is equal to name and password is not correct right so we have made this login method and inside we have defined these conditions so if the name and password message we show this if it doesn't we show this now we go to the index dot xhtml we already have uh, the text box for the user so for the name we already have this for password we will make a new input text okay so for password you define here sorry h and input secret when you select input secret it will i will show you just a moment id you define id and you can define i s e c okay and then the value where well, value is your hash then this curly brackets and inside this user dot password right because you are using password so you are entering the username and the password and you press this submit button and it goes to the second page right so it takes the username and password and it validates your username and password and it goes to the second page so we have this second page also if you are following this video we have made this second page and in here we are showing the output so the output in the output text we are showing h and then output text and we have provided the id and the value so instead of this name which i have provided in the last videos in this we will show the message right so in the index.xhtml we enter the username and password and then we click this button and it validates your data and it opens the second page and it shows the message whatever message you will get I think I did some mistake here instead of this uh, user dot output message I must show user dot this login message so I must call this user dot login message because this login message should give me the message right and in my user dot java class in which i have defined this login uh, condition i think i need to return uh, this string instead of void i need to return this output message so in here in your method which we defined earlier this login master go here instead of this void write string and it will return string and go just below when your method complete just above that write return 
and just copy this output variable which is your output message and just close it so this login method is returning you the output so that's why string and return string so what I will just run the program and then we check and when then after we will see what we have done so run the program so this is my program and when I click this button when both of these username and password field are empty I press this button it shows me the message please enter name and password so I enter the name name is same as name and the password was password so if you see this password is working like a password text field it's not showing your password so that's why I have used uh, that input secret I write and then I click submit button and it shows me username and password is correct okay and when I enter some random values which is not correct and when I press this button it shows me username and password is not correct okay so in this way you have made the login page for your JSF application I so what we have done here is we have defined in our source package we have our user class in here we have declared three variables string name string password and string message so if you don't know how to make this user class you can just go to the video number four in which I have shown you managed beans and there you will be able to understand how I made this user class so in, inside this user class I have name password and output message I set get getter for this output message and getter and setter for my username and password and then I define a login function in which I am returning the output message right and inside this login function I have defined these condition for checking the username and password then I have gone to the index.xhtml which is my first page main page and in here I have defined first of all this input text uh, tag which takes the name of the user and then I have defined the password tag so for password input secret and which take the password of the user and then I press the submit button and after my submit button it goes to the next page so here in the action I'm calling the second page which is the name of my second dot HTML so this is the same name as this second okay and when I press this button it goes to this second page so I go to se the second page here it shows me the output message and what is the value of the message whatever my user dot login returns so my login method will check if the username and password is correct and it returns and it will show you the value right so this I have done you can just make your code better like this so you can give user name and semicolon and after this completion right give break br and in the same way here give password password semicolon add and at the last provide the break okay so this will give a good appearance to your code so now when I run the program 
I have this username and password and I have this submit button. So I have give my username, which is name itself and my passwords, which is password. And when I press this button, it gives me the output username and password is correct. So this is the login page, which I make without using the database. But in the future, when we will see how to connect your database with your JSF pages with the help of Hibernate, then we will see the database login page also. So stay tuned and keep watching these video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.